having a little bit of success early on last year, you know, really made me believe, okay, I can have success at this level. Triple territory, and that's where Baez is heading. I just seen the ball good and, and you know, taking taking the ball where, wherever they pitch for me. Anytime you've got a chance to make life miserable on a division opponent, you want to do it. They thought they were going to come in and uh, get some easy wins, and, uh, you know, we didn't like that. Somebody take me home. You know, when he dials it up, and, and, and he can dial it up, I mean, he's an electrifying player. We lean on him so much, and we, we talk so much about him. The 2-0. Live ball, left field. This one's deep. Going back is Mancini looking up, and it's gone a home run. Javi Baez with his 13th of the year against a pitcher who had not allowed a home run since April. I did make an adjustment. I think it's the biggest, the biggest key for me to see what I'm doing wrong and, and you know try to fix it. I kind of start feeling my, my top hands a little more, so I, I kind of I took it for for to the game and, and you know it's been it's been working really well for me. Nice. It's ground ball through the infield, pass painting in the left field. I'm being patient. I'm, I'm you know I'm keeping my plan you know better and and you know longer doing that bad. Um, you know I just I just gotta trust what what I think. And, and what, what my plan is. Javi Baez batting ground ball up the middle into center field, the base hit. You do a lot of grooming of that baseball bat. Is that a superstitious thing? Like, when did this start, and, and what is the routine, and, and why is it important? This is like the, the feeling of the bat and, and, and grabbing it. Um, you know, I, I hate swinging and letting the bat go, and it happened to me the other day. It was kind of rainy, but the, the at bat before I told the catcher, I think my bat's gonna go away. And the next at bat, it, it flew away. The key is the powder. Everybody asks me about that. I like a lot of uh, a lot of players because my my pine tar is, is dry and it's hard. Um, but I think you know as much pine tar as, as you put in, you know you gotta use the powder too. Baez swings it's a fly ball left field. This one's way back and gone. Javi Baez with number 14 carried the Tigers bullpen and left. You know, just the experience. I think that's that's the most what make you you know who you are right now, um, and that's something that you can't teach. What's the main? message you want, what are the main points you want to make and want the players to absorb when you address them on this day? We've got some 19 games left to play that matters that we want to, we want to accomplish something in these 19 games and also just things can change. It doesn't have to be this way. Anytime you've got a chance to make life miserable on a division opponent, you want to do it. The White Sox are fighting for something yeah. and they want to go out there and make life miserable on the White Sox and see if they have something to say about who wins this division. These are meaningful starts for Matt Manning. He makes one against Chicago here tonight. Swing and miss, fastball up, got him. That's a good job. He kept pounding him at the top of the strike zone. His second punch out of the night, two up, two down here in the second. That was one of the, the best starts I'd ever seen out of Matt. I mean, just the conviction in his pitches. I think he might have shaked two or three times. It was just we were on the same page all day. He was executing. Um, you saw some funky swings from from all those guys. So. Uh, that was definitely a great start with Matt. You know, they thought they were going to come in and uh, get some easy wins, and uh, you know we didn't like that, so we're definitely going to fight back. Scope, a line drive. Vaughn looks. Gone! Jonathan Scope turned on one and hit a frozen rope into the bullpen to make it 2-0. 2-0 Tigers in the eighth. Ray is 0 for 3 tonight. The strike one, runner goes, ground ball there, past the diving Kreidler with a runner in motion. Elvis Andrews is going to be waved around third, and he is going to score. Two out, two run double for Jose Abreu. Extra innings, Tigers and White Sox tied at two. Alex Lang is out there wearing the number of Roberto Clemente as well. Struck him out. That's big right there here in the 10th. You know, Langer coming in the 10th right there and stranding that guy at second, punching out the side is huge. I mean, that might have been the best he's thrown the ball all year, and he's obviously fired up, and it's awesome too. You want dominance? You got it. I mean, that's about as simple as it gets. I mean, he was really good, and 
And I love the emotion coming off after the after the inning. Well, the White Sox wasted no time going right to their closer. They want to extend this game. 1-0, one out toward the mound. Hendricks will pick it up, look to third, throw to first. Bounce the throw off the glove of Harrison. Everybody's safe. Great job by Willie Castro. Got the bunt down. Infield in tight, outfield in tight. Guy can make contact at the plate. Fly ball, right center field, and it's caught. That'll do it. Victor Reyes will play Kreidler. The Tigers walk it off. What has this year, or maybe even the last two years, kind of taught you about yourself? Just that I can play at this level. You know, I think that that was a question mark for such a long time. You know, up and down for three years with Cleveland with only you know, 45, 50 at bats. It was always a question mark for me. Eric's hitting 256, 12 home runs, 39 RBIs, 10 for his last 18 with three homers and three doubles. Haas waiting on a 3 1. Ground ball fair down the third base line. He got a fastball and he didn't miss. Spencer Torkelson around second, heading to third. Ramon Santiago is going to wave him home. Relay from Pena to the play. Not a time. RBI double for Eric Haas, and the Tigers have tied it at one here in the second. It's definitely tough trying to stay out of your own way. You know, um, each guys are going to attack you differently. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out of your control, so when you get a pitch that you can handle, you know that's the one that you need to move forward. That's the one you need to put your good swing on. So, I'm um, just trying to stay kind of with that mindset. Eric Haas, Devon Child's finest, was on. He was on point. Two more hits last night. Can't keep him out of the lineup these days. When I was in a little bit of a funk, just trying to do too much with those pitches. You know, trying to maybe expand a little bit, trying to make stuff happen. Um, uh, it's been the exact opposite the last couple of weeks, trying to you know, let them come to me a little bit, trying to get good pitches in the zone, and um, when I get it, just try to move it forward, not trying to do too much. And um, you know, luckily for me, that's that's um, equated to a lot of success over the last couple of weeks. Back up the middle and his second hit of the night. If I'm aiming right back up the middle. If I'm a little bit early, I can I can pull the ball. If I'm a little bit late, you know, I, I can spray the ball to right, um, and I can pick opportunities where. You know, I can kind of try to turn around a fastball or way back on some off-speed pitches. Um, now I feel like I'm, I'm in a better uh, position body-wise to be able to do that. You know, pick some opportunities to you know, really jump on a fastball. Everything that they were throwing up there, he is barreling up and he's hitting it hard. I'm sure the average velocity is like 101, 102 because he's seeing the ball. It looks like a beast ball yeah, coming yeah. in there to him right now. I've always Kind of had some bat speed and some strength, but I do a lot of work in the weight room, um, just prepping my body. Uh, when I step into the box, I'm ready to, you know, cut loose 100%. From the offensive standpoint, it's something I've kind of taken a step back on. I used to obsess, this guy does this, and this count, this guy does this, and um, I've started looking for more, um, when they make mistakes, where do those mistakes tend to lean towards, you know, so if a guy's trying to work away, but a lot of his mistakes are running in, I'm not necessarily looking away, I'm looking for that mistake close to me. You gotta believe the ball's looking big against Eric. And slow, maybe, where he's pounding that bill. I think it's one of those things where the devil's in the details, you know, it's, it's the little things.